<laughs> how are you? How are you? We're playing How Are You World. How are you, land? He's good lad, El Wario. This should be good crack. Yeah, I really like Wario platform games. They're always really good, but this one I have never done before. Um, I think just because it's kind of like, seems to be a bit more of the more obscure Wario ones that have been going before. Did this come out at like the tail end of like the GameCube or something, or was it at, like was it in a dodgy kind of time frame to for success? Yeah, exactly. It was two thousand like three, four odd, and then the GameCube or the Wii would have come out like about two or three years after that. Ah. So it was kind of like just at the tail end of that. that Revolution. Kind of like, okay, right. So we're gonna make a file. I always Happy thought out. had it in my head that this is kind of like a Mario sixty four style game, but. Then was led to believe that it was a, it was a beat em up. No, no, it's a platformer, yeah. Mm. But I'm just trying to kind of get new bearings with it. So he has a oh, jeez, <laughs> has this uh, <laughs> the, the gas tackle there. This looks absolutely gas. Shoulder charge. So DJ Kerry. Yeah, normally when they do Wario games, they're normally 2D ones. So it's kind of like that tackle the, is like the Game the Boy side Advance and one and all. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, How we land four on the Game Boy Advance? Amazing game. Great. How are you? So, they're all really good. And then there's Wario Land Shake It on the Wii as well. It's really good. So, I need to whip the boss, get the heart iron, and get back my stuff. Ah, well, What's that? Shake It? Is that the minigame one, or is it all... Like... No, that's WarioWare. WarioWare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, Wario Land Shake It is the one on the Wii. And it has really nice, like, hand-drawn graphics and stuff. That was quite good. Cool. But, um, yeah, no, they're normally 2D, so I'm kind of curious as to how they made it, like, a 3D game. It's just, it's weird because it's like you never hear anything about this game, so that's why I was kind of curious to give yeah. it a shot. And even the developer is kind of a bit weird, like it was Treasure that made this, and Treasure don't normally do platform games. It's kind of weird, like... Shoot 'em ups. Yeah, yeah, Treasure would normally be doing... Who is this lad? Dead. Jesus. Look at this lad. Little Look Pikmin him. looking lad. Little black dude. Hey, yeah, it's not really... Wario would be like a real big name in video games, I guess. Like himself as a character. Maybe just his affiliation with what it, like the Mario universe and all, but you never really hear of like big Wario games that are. Yeah, I really like the way Nintendo use them all the same. In that yeah. they, if they have a platformer that seems like a bit weird or off kilter, they'll always put Wario into it. Yeah. So you know, if it's a chance for it to have like a bit of kind of like weirder ideas and stuff, then like they'll usually put him his name to it rather than Mario. So you think that's an excuse almost to use them that they're like, ah, this is a little bit. <laughs> On the dodgy side or mental side, so we'll just throw Wario in rather than. Well, I suppose that's why they have all these different characters like the Ouija and Mario and stuff that they can. Uh, I think that's a really good. Nice. It's a good way of doing it that it's just kind of like yeah. you still have these ideas and you want to use them. So, Jesus, you bite the stomach off. Deadly, not oh, holy god. Can I <laughs> eat him? I don't know what that is or how it works. It's Ed. Who broke the coins? I think. It's <laughs> deadly. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no, you're totally right. Yeah. No, but I like the idea that, like, it's no idea if it's good gone to waste that they'll yeah. use everything that they have. Even yeah, exactly. Something that's and sure, to have all these different, like, characters that they can fall back on. It's the same thing as, like, you know, a show like The Simpsons that has, like, all these back background characters that they can, like, decide for a season. We'll do a bit more with, like, Grandpa Simpson or something, you know? Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, totally. Or if, if, if an idea comes up, they're like, oh, class, we'll, we'll use Barney for this. Like, it's the same kind of thing, isn't it? Definitely. But yeah, I always thought, I thought it was real weird just the way uh, it was Treasure that did this because Treasure are normally shooting games. Gunstar Heroes. And yeah, yeah, like they were, you know, they were known for making great shooting games and stuff. Like they haven't really done anything in a couple of years, but like I'm kind of wondering. What's, the, what's their, their last thing they made? The last thing they made was just some really obscure, like, licensed game or something like yeah. that, but like they haven't done anything like really out there in a while. Um, I think. The last thing that I played from them was that re-release of Sin and Punishment, the N64 game. Know that so it had never come out in Europe, and the, on the virtual console on the how do you make that? On the virtual console on the Wii, they um, there we go. Wii. On the virtual console on the Wii, they like re-released it for the European one. Yeah, so yeah. I had to go over. I thought it was class, and uh, when I was looking up about this, they. Um, they wanted to keep working with Nintendo after they'd made Sin and Punishment, so they were like, oh, do you want to do a platform game? So that's kind of how this came and about. And that, this was that? Yeah, yeah, it just, it's, it's kind of strange because it's like, it's so outside of their wheelhouse, like of traditional things. Yeah. I think I'm missing something of how I grab onto them. Yeah, bounty out, is it? Yeah. All right, I hit that. So, let me just see here. 
the camera a bit off, is it? Oh no, it's okay. It's yeah. just kind of like I think that there's something that I can do to grab onto them. Yeah, can wear, yeah. I think I can grab onto them somehow, but Aha! Ah, there we go. Grant. No clingy boy now. Happy out. There now. We go. Oh wait. If <laughs> if I actually make it then yeah. You crack the code. Yeah. But not yeah, they'd normally be making like shooting games rather than anything yeah. kinda like this, but I really like the way that they operate as a company that they're like if it takes like 10 years to make a game they don't really care yeah. um their thing is that as long as the game is fun to them then they're happy out doing that so kind of a game freaks type thing then as well is it? yeah well it's just kind of like it's it's it takes six years so be it we'll we'll do a lot of odd jobs in between to kind of fund the, the, the project that you want to put out yeah yeah like they're they're not really interested in doing things that are just purely for making money they yeah. only make games if they like like the feel of what they're going to be doing so this was cool they probably yeah. just had like a chance to make a 3d wario game and they were like yeah cool let's go for it it actually controls like pretty nicely it's just kind of like yeah it's nice like did you ever see um that channel it's like my retro life i think and it's like a lad who's like our lad was big into the console wars and all back in the day and uh, always kept up with new technology and all so like Chap was fairly spoiled, you know, as our lad was buying them consoles every Christmas, but there's all home videos of it. Yeah. And there's like the kids' reaction to like, you know, everything from an NES up to like the Xbox 360. But it's like him growing as like, you know, a four or five year old up to like a, a teenager. But his episode when he's like, he gets the GameCube, his dad like imports it before the GameCube even is out in America. Nice. And the first game he plays is Luigi's Mansion. And he's ah, like, nice. He's like, God damn, yeah, this like looks exactly like a Nintendo game. It's, let's face it, the PS2 and the, the Xbox were probably out by then. Mm -hmm. And they were much more powerful. But like the GameCube just like, the flagship games, they just looked like Nintendo games like this. Like, it's not a huge step up from 64, but like, I suppose it is, but but it isn't. There's something no. really clean about the way that this 3D looks, though. That yeah. I feel like it's it's kind of it's a step above, obviously, like PS1, PS2 kind of stuff, and it's gonna mm. take a while for it to look dated. I, I, I actually know. think it still holds up pretty well. Like, I don't know if I'd say if it's that it's like ahead of the PS2 in terms of like how clean it looks and all, but it's definitely on the same kind of level you know yeah yeah, yeah it, it, it's back to what we were saying like when we were playing Mega Man if something has like a real good style that's gonna last so much longer and Nintendo just has like the most iconic style to their characters and shit you know what I mean it's, yeah they don't really need to do anything like that no it kind of speaks for itself and how it works yeah like, a lot of these characters like became themselves in like the Super Nintendo era you know and the way they look visually hasn't changed a lot since then you know Need these to meet the big lads. Okay. Just collect a few of them, is it? Then? I think so. They must be lying around. I'm kind of winging it with the controls here, but like it seems like he's got a stomp. He can hoover up things. And he's got a dash, and that's about the it. The gas tackle, so. yeah. Yeah. So can you bash that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can. DJ carry on the ball. It's kind of handy, like, because it's just oh fuck you. Yeah. Okay, right. Needs to go back. The garlic looks yeah. so melty, yeah, man. In bits. Oh, the state. Of it. Oh, okay, I think I need to go through a couple of these. Mm. Or is that the one that I just so, did? Wait, like, is, oh, yeah. is this an overworld or is this the first level? I, th I don't think this has an overworld. I think it's just level-based. Okay, okay. But I could be wrong because Howie Land 4 has, like, it's like the pyramid that you're in and that has an overworld that you go through. So it could be that it has one, but I'm pretty sure that this is just world-based. Yeah. This game is also very short as well. So, is it? Yeah, it's only about four or five hours long, so it's kind of like... There's nothing wrong with that, I guess. No, no, totally. I'm, I'm... I don't mind a game that, like, does what it needs to do in the set amount of time, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's in... Instead of drawing shit on for ages. No, like, I'm not into a game just, like, padding itself out for the sake of it and just kind of wasting my time, almost. It's just kind yeah, of like... Yeah. If it only has a certain amount of stuff to say, then it's just kind of like... So be it. I think that's kind of like sometimes with open world games i always just wind up dropping them because there's almost too yeah. much stuff to do yeah, <laughs> which is i know it's a stupid complaint but i'm just kind of like oh like it's just almost kind of wasting well, like, in some ways you know what i mean the way i look at it like at the age we're at now it's like every all the time you get to play video games is like valuable you know what i mean yeah it's like yeah really nice to be able to just sit down and fucking crack through a game like and uh, I don't mind like a, a five, six hour fucking story to get, sink my teeth into, you know, for like a couple of nights over a week and then be done with it. Like, yeah, you know, like, I'm totally with you. Yeah. Yeah. We don't have uh, the whole school summer holidays to power to yeah, a Final exactly. Fantasy game like, anymore. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm not putting 300 hours into Final Fantasy 10 anymore. You know? No, definitely not. Yeah. I tried playing that game Persona 5 and I had to stop because uh, too, it's too much going on. It's it? like 70 hours long or something. 
It's literally, I think it's, I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but I think it's either 60 or 70 hours long. Jesus. It's, not, it's just not worth it. Look at this lad. He's foaming. You know. He's got a hurl and all. Yeah, no, he is not happy. Oh, I can box him from the back. Oh, he's got some cheese. Oh, I think you set him off to... To charge the other there. Yeah, smash the other lads. There's a lot of like buttons and stuff that I haven't a clue what they kind of do around the map. It's like sure. me playing Symphony at night. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth am I doing? Well, this game has actually done a horrible job of explaining anything that I need to do. Kind of like Symphony of the Night as well. Just kind of drops just you into it. In line, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm collecting things and it seems like they're good, but I'm kind of like... I don't know. It's very nice. Right. Oh, shit. Maybe not. As Another oh, Melody garlic. so Melody. Like. Here, give something. Will you? Oh, shit, on a bit of food. What's the worry on garlic connection there? He just loves garlic. Oh, I love garlic. Uh, like, uh, <laughs> garlic and anything. I, I think it just kind of it's one of those things that it's just kind of like once one game had it in there, yeah, then yeah, they were yeah. just like, it I am part of the, the lineage then. Have you ever seen the stuff about Wario Man? What's that? Wario Man was in WarioWare when he ate enough garlic he turned into a superhero called Wario Man. Oh, maybe. And it's like it's like his final smash in Smash Brothers as well. Uh, what maybe. in the Jesus? I don't. I, I don't know. Uh, whatever I did there, I failed somehow. I think I have to wiggle around. That is mental. What the fuck? Is this like a little uh, challenge thing? Yeah, so I have to, whenever the ball feels like coming back down, you need to like wiggle around it that you don't get hit by the yoke. That is mad. Oh my wa mo shindeiru. Nani? So oh you have to oh shit. That's some you have to wiggle man. around so yeah, it's like Yeah 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 that's some fucking Mario Galaxy shit. That's mental. Jeez man, I just toe bogged the mic there, got way too excited. Yeah. <laughs> this is exciting stuff though. Yeah it is exciting stuff. Look at this. Oh, that is Mario Galaxy need... shit, isn't it? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Bit of Wario Galaxy. Wasn't expecting yeah. that. But we were talking about, yeah, no, he turns into uh, Wario Man. The, uh, I love those WarioWare games, so they're great. And that, that was dope. They're, they're the Mario Party type thing, don't they? It's just the, like mini games and... Uh, just mini games and then like if you beat like a certain amount of them, then you get to like the next bit of the level and stuff like yeah. that. But it wasn't like done on a board like Mario Party. It was just like a load of like really weird mini yeah. games. But... Uh, it's on the DS now, isn't it? Yeah, the first one that I played was on the Game Boy Advance. Nice, nice. But it goes... Oh, Throne. It goes back to what I was saying that like they had this really weird idea, whatever, who had ever come up with it in house and they were like, yeah, stick where you want it, it'd be great instead of like just getting rid of it, you know? Slap it so, on. Yeah. No. Stick it in a pan. <laughs> He's always really good for like really weird things like that. Oh. I don't, yeah, it's it's quite weird the way there's just like, you know the way Crash Bandicoot would have like one mini level. Yeah. This has a little. Yeah, like, your like, bonus, your bonus stage. This is, there's one of these every 15. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, that's, how was that a level? I'm talking about two seconds. I don't know how, I, I wonder how many of them gems I need to fight a boss though. I haven't a clue. Um, I'm hmm. guessing four. Can we check what we have? Food. Ah, we can! Yeah, right, so, Excitement Central, Greenhorn Forest. <laughs> uh, I have do a few places <laughs> called Excitement Central before. <laughs> Five out of eight of them, so, and a few of them pixie lads. So, they're lads you have to save, they're like flickies. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Uh, Jesus. Oh, it's another level. Right. right. No. <laughs> oh, this is. Jesus. This is the thing, man. If you fall down a hole in this game, you get like lashed. I am absolutely spooked. What? Yeah, the fuck? you get sent here. Don't let. Them, they'll, they'll take your loot off you. Oh my god. What? Yeah. Terrifying. Can I kill them with the fucking. I have no idea. Maybe with bombs or. How he is. Do you want to go with that, yeah? Bang. Oh, yeah. Look. They get mildly spooked by it, but they don't seem to really care. Okay, there has to be some way that I can get out of here. Ah. Uh, that only seems to kind of back them off a little bit. Where's the exit? I don't know. Do you have to bash them all with the, the bombs? Yeah, maybe you have to kill them to all out. or something. Oh, he's stealing your loot, man. Don't worry, get back. But I'm trying to, like... Maybe if I... See, because they're see-through. Do you have to blow up the things in the middle with the bombs? Uh, they're kind of my get out of jail card right now, so I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know. Ah, there we go. 
Oh, I think you just have to break all the crates, maybe. Ah, in the middle man. Of the so well, that was the, like the longer you're in there, the less shit you're gonna you're gonna lose. Like that was fucking nightmarish. Anyway, holy god. Careful on this man. Yeah, Jesus. Right. Well, we'll get it over here anyway. Ah, yeah. No, oh yeah. Lad, look at the head. What's the crack? The only thing I'm thinking graphics wise is the textures look so uh, low res. Yeah, what's the... Uh, oh, there's another one then, lots. They could just be could be reusing a load of stuff that they already had. So, from back in the day, like... Here's a graphics question for you. you why is it that... I think it is just that it's low res. Why does everything have that weird white, like, outline around everything? What does mean? that make sense? Oh, when you move and you can see it flickering? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's just I, kind of... I don't know what that is, but I know the PS2 has it or had it and the xbox didn't it was like the only or the 360 sorry i think the okay. 360 was the first console that like got rid of that i don't know what it is okay i just remember lad in extra vision down gray Sons main street like an english lad that worked there back in the day just burning the ears off us as kids been like yeah this is the new console that's gonna have this gonna have this usb you guys like usb oh you can hook this console up any way you want <laughs> okay Right, just give me the console. Yeah. Um, no, no, I was a Sony kid. So I didn't want any of that. So I wanted, I, I wanted my memory storage uh, branded, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Paid extra cash for it. Yeah, yeah. So I took a balloon. Stick. I took a balloon that took me right back to the start of the level. Because Van will hammer on back to it because it only takes a second. So Good guy tackle. Boosting yeah. along. Yeah, he's, he's some man for the tackle. Some man. There I'm we sure you, once you get into the flow of it, you fly him. Yeah, I mean, like, the levels seem pretty short, and I don't know how many of them there is, but I know that the game is short enough, so it's kind of like, yeah, you know. I'm kind of getting off this, like, Mario Odyssey vibes in terms of that first level, or one of the first levels, it's like a forest. The all. forest is really like that, it yeah, looks, it totally it looks, is. It looks real yeah, similar, doesn't it? Very similar. Maybe they're kind of harking back to their... Yeah, maybe. The, um... I, li I like that about them, that they always kind of, like, Mario games do have a weird kind of, like, they do call back to each other yeah, a lot. Yeah. Nintendo games are very good for it in general. And that's cool. Yeah, no, totally. It's like, oh man, I've gotten so into Sega recently, I'm just like wishing like Sega just really took, or like, looked after their franchises, you know, like, new Knights game, new fucking, well, Shenmue 3 was a bit of a lot of ball. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, <laughs> they have some really, really, really good franchises that they could do so much with. Um, yeah, yeah. It's like that fucking Sonic R thing that I was saying about the, um, you know, if you don't pay attention to why your game is good, then you're just going to keep making a load of, like, nonsense instead. And yeah. people aren't going to enjoy it. And it's just kind of like, yeah, well, if you don't, like, quality control is really important. It's not enough to just say we have Sonic and pump out a load of Sonic games. They're yeah. not going to be as good. But the, the problem was your man, the, I can't remember the name of him, like, the head of Sega of Japan, the guy with the, like, a big comb over. You know, okay. Real kind of cartoon character looking head in them, but he kept going like like behind Sega of America's backs and we're like, this decision you want to do won't work. We're gonna like do it our way. And all he was focused on was like graphics and like being the next like cutting edge shit. Yeah. He didn't really like focus as much on like the games and how fun they were and like, you know, getting good like titles under their belts and stuff. But yeah, yeah. um like I guess like the Mega Drive looks so much nicer than a lot of Super Nintendo titles. You know what I mean? Like there was so much more going on. Maybe not nicer from, you know, an artistic point of view, but like definitely in terms of like technology, they were like good, good couple of yards ahead, you know? Oh yeah, no, like and, that. And those old like Sega execs like thought that that was what won it for them, you know what I mean? And they just kept doing that. So they like, they rushed to get Sega CD and 32X out. They rushed the Saturn out. The Saturn was like came out months before it should have. Yeah. And they rushed the Dreamcast out as well. And that's basically like the Dreamcast had so much shit that no other consoles like for years no other consoles had like network play. Yeah. Like, yeah. All, all this mad shit like trading and stuff. Uh, Blew my, it blew my mind being able to use the 56k on the Dreamcast to be able to like play games with yeah, people. So, I was like, what? you mentioned Persona there. Like, was not like one of the first MMOs on console that wasn't like PC. You know what I mean? Like the original Persona. Yeah, like, yeah. They the used to be Shin Megami Tensei. It's the old name for them. But um, yeah, like I mean, it's just kind of it's that thing of like they never. Um, they 
thought that they were successful for the wrong reason. Yeah. Exactly what you were exactly, saying. Yeah. They were like, oh, it's the tech. That's the only reason the that thing, we're popular. Like, yeah, like Sega of America can, in hindsight, be like, oh, we, oh we, we, my we, James. What is this? Look at this. Like, Big lad. It's like Yoshi Kong, is it? That is awful. That is horrendous looking. Roblox is a man. That's where it is, a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Get tired of that noise. Oh my so god. Guys. Oh, I can pick him up. Very nice. Ah, 64 job. the fucking do her with He is like 64. Spin him around and fuck him off the house. Somehow he hasn't lost any health though, so I don't really like that. Um, that's a bit worrying. Do you know what I'll do actually? I hit him off the wall there. We'll fire him out. Like, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, get out, out there. you fucking get. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Lovely. Very nice. Get out there, dude. Oh, fucking oh. <laughs> You turned into a PNG, yeah, yeah. man. Get him. No. Steer well. Oh, oh, he's absolutely booting along. He's man dry to Guinness. Do you need yeah. another one, do you? Uh, yeah, oh, if you oh, could. I'll wait to do it there. Clip this lap. So we're done with the Mayor Arclo here. <laughs> the Mayor Arclo. Out you fucking get. Okay, no, we're nearly done. We're nearly done. He's kind of remind me of the, the Tropical Freeze. Oh, oh, Larry. Will I run, will I? Yeah, yeah, go on, go on. You're all right. Oh, jeez. I'll hold down the fort. But yeah, no, these kind of remind me of the Tropical Freeze bosses, kind of in design anyway, sort of, you know? It's a great game. It's a great game. Ah, uh, yeah. You're not worth a shite. Lovely, thank you. Oh, fuck, he's back! Oh, wait, no. He's just back to die. You got him. A horrendous, sparkly death. He's back to say goodbye. Big lad on the town. Happy out. Nah, he's buzzing now. Is the embargo on chips and our club has been lifted. <laughs> it has been officially called off. Rush out for your chips. Oh my god, did you hear that thing? That apparently, this is like scandalous. The uh, Most of the chips in chippers in Ireland are actually bought in the UK. What? According to RT News. And now with Brexit coming in, you might have a chip shortage. Oh, no way. I swear to God, yeah. People won't stand for that, man. Could you imagine there was a chipper shortage? <laughs> There'd be blood in the streets, man. My God, Flowing yeah. everywhere, like. <laughs> Never mind the rest of Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> and all the other, like, trials and tribulations that are going to come with that. But the chips. Yeah, you come across any fucking Egypt that wants an IRX that you say to them, well, do you like chipper? Do you yeah. like chipper? Uh, yeah. I have fucking bad news for you, mate. Listen, you're not going to get a few crispy bits thrown in with that pie no, of sausage. No, no. You won't be There's happy. There's a shortage then. on chips. You won't be happy then. Sure, Belgium you? had a, a, an excess of chips there last year. Did you hear that? I love Belgian chips. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> lovely, yeah. They had too many chips and they had to like export a load of chips for free to, to, to the other companies like, or other countries. Anytime I went to Eperfest, you know, a load of deadly bands and all, obviously, but like loads of really nice chips. Unbelievable. Well. So, good chips. I remember one of the, the fondest memories of my life is seeing Carl watching like Jungle Rat or someone. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was some old school death metal band and you're just sitting there delighted. Nice, like cherry beer one of those belgian cherry beers and a big plate of chips yeah yeah no oh, i was it's, a tray it's, of chips i should if say if there's any place that i'm in my element 100 percent at deeper fest how the fuck that's a great festival actually i haven't been in years yeah i don't know like it, it just happened to me that every time it kind of came around again i just i, I had something else that i was to be going to so i just never yeah. really i went and the lineup hasn't really like proper like struck a chord of me in, in a couple of years now we There's only so many times you can see Madball and fucking Terror or First Blood or... Well, see, we went like three years in a row, or was it like four years in a row? We Something were like constantly yeah, yeah. going to Eva yeah. Fest, and I think... The annual we, tradition. We kind of saw every band that was kind of on the go that would play Eva Fest. The regulars, it, yeah. Eventually, yeah. the lineup started kind of repeating itself, and like, I was saying to you, I was like, the only thing that would make me really want to go would be nails or twitching tongues and as far as i know neither of them ever went in any of the subsequent ones but um both of those bands are kind of kaput now nails because they're insufferable arseholes and probably twitch did you see that thing the other day actually no uh taylor the drummer and then your man john they both quit so it's literally just your man todd on his own now 
the main lad is yeah. the only lad left in it. He's the only it? lad left, yeah. So he claim he claims he's writing something else, but like you know, it's not going to be the same band, like you know. Edge Lord, how the fuck do I? Op- I'm. Omae wa mo shindeiru. Nani? Hunger. We're a great band, though. I oh, keep I whacking the mic. Man. Excellent really band. Hi, you're all good. I don't know how to open this love door. Where's the uh, Where's the camera? Oh, there we go. But ah, uh, oh, lovely. Body of Christ. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you open this door. I'm a bit stumped here. So. I'm Must guessing a few so... more, a few more items. Yeah. So I'm gonna go back to the main area and have a look. But um, yeah, no, as in like we obviously saw like a lot of absolutely deadly bands at that, but never like I don't know, just God, never some, some really good bands. Yeah, excellent. Jesus, that Iron Reagan set was. Oh yeah, With Craigie, that was, that was unbelievable. Yeah, that was very good. I really enjoyed Gruesome. They were really good. Unbelievably good. Yeah. Oh okay, wait. So Tribulation, that's... amazing. That's just one level, so I have to go up here and do the next one. Uh-huh. So that's it. Lahar. So wait, no, this game must be long enough, I think, if I have to do like that's all, that was only one level. Is it short if you're speed running it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe that's it. Like, I don't know. But um Yeah, no, I'd be interested in going back to that again someday, especially since it's been an absolute drought with the gigs. Yeah, so I'm dying to go see something again. Definitely you know? missing gigs, alright. Yeah. Even just to go over to like see the boys in Glasgow oh, or something holidays, like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you know, you you are like, oh, I'm going over for a gig, and it's like a drinking weekend. Yeah, you know. Cool. Jesus, even playing gigs, miss that. Like, miss going over for just playing gigs in the UK. You know, for like a night or two, seeing all the lads, drinking loads of pints, seeing some class bands as well. Oh, it hit me the other day. I was like, I haven't played drums in nearly a year. Seriously? Yeah, the last time that I played a set was the Frustration Reunion last December. I haven't played drums in nearly like a year. Is that the last gig we ever did? Yes. Jesus yeah, Christ, no, it's, that's it's, almost a year. A yeah, year yeah, in, no, yeah. it's fucking crazy. Like, the year just kind of flew in. We I were supposed to play that ACXDC gig in Galway in March or something, just when lockdown like, like fully kicked in. Like Then big COVID came together. Yeah, and, that was the last, the yeah. last one. No. Oh no, I'm, re- I'm not a rest piece. What? <laughs> Live music. Yeah. <laughs> no, I like I I I don't think it's gonna be the last set that I ever play. Like ah no no, just yeah. for the time being. Yeah. But the thing is, like, there's so many people just like moaning the whole time about there being no gigs. It's like, listen, everyone's in this like together. Like, people are missing things all over the place. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, it's not a unique to yeah, live music sort of thing. It's, it's like, this year, like, you know, get used to it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Channel your like frustration and like creativity into something else, like playing video games and drinking cans. Make a game and channel. Oh, there you oh, go. Brad, man. Oh, 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 look at that. Well, like, you know what I mean? Like, there's plenty of other shit you can be doing with your mates instead of whinging. Yeah, no, as in, it's just kind of like you have to eventually just be like, well, what else can I do for the moment? Oh, there we are, there we are. There we go. Oh, no, yeah, I'm trying to get this. See the big wheel down there? The corner, yeah. I'm trying to figure out how you get that open, but I actually don't really know. Clip that lad. Um, there's a few lads you clip here anyway. I love the guy tackle, it's yeah, so it's good. So good, yeah. Straight in with the shoulder. Um, yeah, you, maybe, maybe you, you guy tackle that thing and spin it around. No. Um, I'm trying to think, like, I have. You've got a throw, tackle, boxing. Hard fighting. There must be something that you spin that around with. Um, what do I think of this? Um, hmm. Is there nothing downstairs? No, I don't think so. I mean, we could always just. What are those things? Those like pedestal things? Maybe like it's just a decoration. Yeah. You pound now. Nothing. Um, what I might do is oh, oh God, back to the oh you're oh, in the gulag no <laughs> oh, oh, straight in the gulag oh no okay oh lucky me oh thank fuck hang on what I'll do is this I didn't notice that before so I could do something loving this jam yeah good music actually Nintendo are always pretty spot on with their tunes don't they yeah no totally um. Yeah, no, like, 
treasure are pretty good for just like having really high quality for like all the stuff that they make. They've yeah. made so many deadly games. I think we should play Gunstars. I know you, you've you've got a top of the list. I think we should definitely like whack into that. Gunstar heroes would be class. Two player job, very good. Yeah. Like they have.